Welcome to the Coffee Clutch. Now this segment's going to be a little different than my other segments talking about old sayings because this is sort of a continuation of the last segment I did on uh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And as I mentioned, I am that old dog and I'm going to try to learn a few new tricks to improve my uh, video entertainment for all of you. And I thought it might be kind of fun to go through this together. Now I have my screen pulled up and uh, or my station and I'm going to go to something called analytics. We'll see what analytics uh, takes us to. So what I want to do is get to those end cards that we talked about last time and see what an end card might be. See if I can understand it. Okay, well, hmm. first page, video analytics. A lot of lines going all different directions. Looks like most of them are going up. I'm assuming that's a good thing. 217 views. That looks good. Let's see if I can find my videos. Where, where did I put them? How do I get to them? I'm not really not sure. And when in doubt, I push the the coffee. Uh, uh, so grab your cup of coffee and let's get started. Arrow. Now that's I went back to my video that's online or already public. And I'm trying to get to my videos that I kind of have a store of them and I have some that are coming up and I've pre-recorded and put them there. They're not public. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think I want the square made up of squares. All that did was give me YouTube TV, YouTube music, YouTube kids. Not what I'm looking for. Create a video post. Well, that looks promising, and I'm pretty sure that's what I click to upload my videos. And indeed, it says upload. Okay, now this took me to where I drag and click, the, like I will drag and click this video to put it into my YouTube station. Hmm, but where, is my, where are my stored videos? Now I'm telling you people, when you think these old dogs are dumb, I mean, nothing here says saved videos. All I've got is upload video screen. It says upload with classic. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I found them. They came up. I just X'd out of the video, of the portion where you upload your video. I X'd out of it, and voila, here are my uh, saved videos for future posting. Now, what I want to figure out is I'm going to click on one of them, and what I want to figure out is can I go back? and do an end card. All sorts of little um, icons over here on the left. We've got uh, analytics, editor, comments, subtitles. Uh -uh, don't want any of those. <laughs> There's that thumbnail again. Select or upload a picture that shows what's in your video. Doesn't my video already show what's in my video? I mean, when it comes up on YouTube, you see kind of a frozen picture of the first second of the video. So I'm not sure how to improve on that. Um, the next thing they ask is, is this video made for kids? Well, that's a tricky question because no, I mean, no kid really probably wants to watch this, and yet it's not like it's R-rated or something that it should be restricted to children. It's a tricky question. I said, no, it's not made for kids, simply because I know my own kids would have said, that's dumb. Why you? Why would we want to watch this? Okay, I have something said settings, send feedback, person looking like they're running, and it says create Creator Studio Classic. Oh, I see, I see something on the right side. I've been focusing on the left. Here it says end screen. So I've clicked on end screen. Element, import from video. Okay. 
um, I don't see anything that actually tells me what the end screen is. Two videos or playlist, one subscribe. Two videos or playlist, one subscribe. And there's these different formats. Hmm. When in doubt, I usually have to Google my question. What is an end screen? I don't want to lose this, so I will pull up a new window. Go to my new window. Up pops Google. That I can do. What is an end screen on YouTube? And there it is. Okay. An end screen, also referred to as an end card or end slate, is a YouTube feature. that appears in the last 5 to 20 seconds of a video. YouTubers can use their end screen to promote videos, playlists, merchandise, and external websites. Specifically, you can use your end screen to link to other videos and playlists. Hmm. Hmm. I'm guessing this means that when I have my video of you can't teach an old dog new tricks I can put an end screen that lets people know that I have a playlist that will show me trying to figure this out. That makes sense. I know I've seen something that said playlist and maybe today if I just figure out one end screen and then I go over the next few days and try to add other things I can group that together as a playlist for your enjoyment so that if you enjoy watching this you can do the like hmm how long are YouTube end screens? Let's see, how do you make it? Lots of good information. YouTube end screen can be added to the last five to 20 seconds of your video. It cannot be added to the front or middle of the video. To add this screen, your video must have at least 25, your video must have at least 25 seconds long. Not correct grammar, but we'll go with it, I get it. Um, my video is longer than 25 seconds. What is an end card? A YouTube end card is a graphic at the end of a YouTube video that encourages viewers to explore more content or directs audiences to take a specific action, call to action. YouTubers often use YouTube tool annotations, though only seen on desktop and not mobile, to promote other videos. That was way too much information for me in one paragraph because I don't really quite know what all that means. You know, it's hard because a lot of things reference something else. And unless you have that basic knowledge, it, it, a lot of it sounds like gobbledygook to me. But I am going to forge on. And um, how do you make an end screen? I think that's what YouTube was showing me. Okay, not going to go through that whole explanation. And I'm going to go back to my other screen that shows. Okay, I bet I'm supposed to drag and click something. The only problem, I don't know what that is. I mean, do I drag it from the video itself? What sense does that make? Do I get to... Um, <laughs> okay, I clicked on something. I clicked on a format. 
this most recent upload automatically feature the most recent upload upload a video choose specific video select from your videos or from any on YouTube hmm do I get to write something and maybe I could say something very clever <laughs> I'm pretty limited and I am aware of that best for viewer okay maybe what I'm gonna to need to do is wait until I upload this video that will be the best for viewer after they watch the other video that says you can't teach an old dog new tricks because this would be the natural sequel to that watching the old dog try to learn the new trick <sighs> well I think that's where I'm going to I'm going to stop for today because I think maybe that's what I'm gonna to have to do and I'm gonna try that I'm going to upload this video and then I'm gonna see if I can create an end card out of this video that will direct people to this video so that they can follow my journey oh my goodness well this should be fun I hope you enjoy watching this journey and uh, seeing my YouTube station blossom and um, we'll continue with our old sayings and soaking in those words of wisdom that are tried and true so until next time enjoy that cup of coffee and come back and visit oh and if you enjoyed this do the like share and I hope you subscribe until next time.